The interesting thing about the show is that a lot of the gay guys had one degree of separation. You know, it, you, you felt as if there was 20 gay guys in the United States. It's a big world, but there's a small, you know, little community, or a small enough community where you kind of get to know gay guys, you know, around certain big hubs and big cities. So a lot of the guys in the show either knew each other or, or knew of each other. We were pulled from all, basically, the four corners of the nation, and, and we still recognize, I recognize, like I said, a couple, at least two, maybe three. Being on the show made me realize it is a small, small world out there. And all of these gay guys on the show, they all had a connection with somebody else on the show. I went in the show already knowing about Bradley. Luciano dated one of Bradley's roommates at one point, so, you know, there was a connection there somehow. So I think Bradley had actually dated um, Chad at one point. Luciano dated my old roommate in college. Um, John and I used to chat online for years. <laughs> the longer that you're around and you, you, you know people, you just know people. It could be in London, it could be in Sydney, it could be in Moscow. You just get to know one person, they know somebody else, and you just get to know people and you're like, it, it's, it's very weird, it's very bizarre. So yeah, it's a small little world, small little gay world.